And this yeah. is what it is. It's all about momentum shifters, yeah. Like in the in the league, in the league race, the title race. And the thing is, it's what you do when the pressure's on and you have to do certain things, isn't it? And like for instance, the Arsenal year, when they lost to City in the league, mentally it deflated them, bro. Because then I mean in the cup, because then they went and got smashed in the league as well at home. And then they had no chance going away to City after they lost at home. Do you know what I mean? It's mm. like, yeah, there's the home, certain things. it was the home game in league. I think it was the league game at home that really mm. was the, like, yeah. because they constantly do that to them. And it's like, we're facing each other. Like, even if they would have got a draw, then you can continue. Yeah. The I was going to say, there. even someone said it there. Jesus done an interview today and said mentally, he sees an interview today. Jesus he said, like, got ner- he said they got nervous or something. Yeah, they got nervous. Yeah. Wait, yeah. how are we not starting the show? Why are we not? Wait, what did Jesus say? Yeah, hey, bro, hey, you man, put the quote in because Flawless is about to get the Dutch put out. <laughs> hey, yeah, man. Hey, you man. man. Chatting to the girl in the club and then he oh, just he got shy, started shaking his drink and that. Yeah, hey, listen, yeah. you man, we need 800 <laughs> likes, man. You man need to get it up, bruv. Get them lights up. Smash them hey, lights Hey, Jesus, like, Jesus, like, like, title charge. Right? Yo, what did Jesus say? Get what them lights up, people. What did he say? Only on 600. We need 200 more likes, people. Bro, Arsenal got at the end of the season, he said that. Yeah. Jesus has made that. He did, bro. And that. Jesus always looks like he's sitting in a jail cell, blood under duress, blood. You know the ones when he does these interviews, he always looks stressed, bro. He always got. Always yeah, he does. Him, he, yeah. like, he's an emotional guy, you know. Yeah. This is it. This is a. This is a very telling sign. So when people talk all this crap about leadership and what Arteta's done, and a couple, how are you getting nervous and you're in the position of power? You was leading huh? the way. But bro, it's him and like him and Zinchenko, bro, the huddle merchant, and that shows the you merchant, why are you allowing man. your team to get nervous when you got all their man there. Mm. That's it. Wait, run that quote up there for Mason seven thirteen comment ramps. That's the full thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Seven thirteen, Mason. Put some guy called Mason. Put it in. There you go. Yeah, he goes. Yeah, put that one. There you go, Flores. He was a little bit nervous as a team, and Man City was not nervous because normally they win. That made the difference. Oh, these man, a bit, these man, were, these man were defeated. These men were, yeah, these men were defeat. This is why the entire time, even when they was on top of the league, I was saying, even they though didn't they believe it. I don't think they, they believe it. There was a point where they was favourites. I was never like they will win the league. There's no clip. Even when everyone was like, "Yo, I still gonna win the league. I still gonna win." The Have league. you saw me? I was staunch with it. I was just no, like, "Bruv, wait, we'll for see, it. we'll wait for it, man." And wait they say it. this: this is a telltale sign because now we know there's weakness. So let's go, let's say they have the same season as they had last season and they're in the same position. You don't think that's in the back of the minds. You don't think Manchester City or whoever is chasing them down. Let's put pressure yes. on these men and they'll crumble. Mm. And bear in mind, you've added Declan Rice who hasn't been in that situation. Timber's new. Havertz is absolutely awful. But this is it. Worse. Shaka is a big, big yeah. loss because he's actually one of the only guys that mentally, yeah, he's got that dog in him, yeah, huh? that like... He could galvanize, isn't it? Yeah, when I when I look at when I look at this team right now, it's a bunch bunch of just nice geezers. The manager with, with the dog and all this shit, bro. Nice. Like, yeah, these nice, men are not nice serious, guys. bro. Like yeah, I'll be yeah, real, yeah. they're not serious. They're not a threat, blood. Do you know what I'm saying? Like mm. they're not a threat. I honestly think, yeah, that that Liverpool are the ones, yeah. Like if they get their shit together, they're yeah, the real guys. Yard, get the centre back. They're, they're, they're the guys that could push yeah. City all the way this they're season, over. bro. Yeah, I think they're ahead of us in terms of. They've already got their attack pattern, didn't it? Mm. I'm saying, but their defense, their defense looks a bit leave it, you know, like that. So they could be, the, they could be the best of the rest. But with like the Arsenal thing with Zinchenko crying and everything like mm. that, this just lets us know what was going on inside that dressing room. Arsenal, you just play, you play better football. Yes, I've a great coach, but you still have that soft underbelly. That old mm. Arsenal that we thought had gone, no, 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 that's still there. Like the mm. chin's still a bit shaky. And you know what makes it worse for it me? Is. Yeah, the chin's still a bit. If yeah, it's it's it's, it's the Ame Khan thing. You got all the flash in that. Once your chin gets popped, you you that's what you get everything. Yeah, 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 yeah. That, but, but the yeah. chin's the chin's just weak, fam. You know that. Do you know what it is as well? I think what makes it worse. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Jesus is being honest, and you'll get a few minority fans that say, Do you know what? At least he's speaking the truth. For me, I think it's poor because you sign Jesus from your potential rivals, which actually ends up pipping you to bring mindset to make their difference. You sign mm. Zinchenko and Jesus because they have that winning mentality to bring it into your team to start games to make the difference. Now, you're coming out saying that, Oh, we did, we got nervous, but surely Jesus, you should be one of the players that nah. are trying to stop that. But Ty, that tells you all you need to know. They was never the main guys at Manchester. No, City. they weren't. They, they were weren't. never they the right. go-to guys. They, they were never the leader of no. those locker rooms. They played their no. roles and played. Their Manchester said to Chicago. Jesus, "Name names, big man. You know what I'm saying? Name like, names. Who got? Because like, whoever they are, they're still there. Yeah. Like who got? Like who got nervous? And like why? And, is and that you know who he's talking about? He's talking about his manager. That's who he's talking about. 
You reckon he's talking about Mikel Mikel um, Artekas? Well, listen, reckon, you reckon? Of course he is. You know why? <laughs> you know why? Because what's your job as a manager? Your job as a manager is to control the whole narrative in the dressing room. The whole narrative. The whole narrative. You see the way Jose controls the narrative and he turns his teams into the underdogs and he does the siege mentality thing. Those as a manager, world. yeah, exactly. So Alec Ferguson used to do it. When yeah, I'm talking yeah, to the media, the <laughs> you hate our players. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Like, bro, this is what it's yeah. the manager that controls the narrative in the dressing room. Do you know what I'm saying? And if Arteta's wobbling, the players wobble. Do you understand what I'm saying? If Arteta's stoic and he's like, nah, we've got this. Then it, bro, it rubs off to the players. I'm telling you, you could see mm. the manager was nervous. Watch towards the last ten games of the season, the Brea was on the side, yeah, doing true. sign language for the sake of it. Man, just biting his nails, bro. Yeah, they really did. Like, bro, bro, he was stressed, yeah. fam. He was. You can see his body it's... language. Watch him and... just walking up and down the touchline, bare nervous energy. Bare and nervous said, energy. And someone said mm. it in the comment section. This does prove that they did bottle it. Nervous bottle is the same thing, people. It's a part bro? of the same. It's a part, yeah, of, the same it's part of the same thing. And staying yeah. on yeah. that, look at Jurgen Klopp tree. as well. Look at Jurgen Klopp. He done the same thing with Liverpool. Liverpool conceding goals. He's smiling. Am I lying? <laughs> he's laughing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He bro, started that doing rubs... silly interviews and all bro, that. Yeah. Bro, the bro was laughing when they were conceding goals. I'm just seeing bare teeth, bro. And it's because he's broken. And that rubs mm. off to the players. When the players yeah. are seeing the manager just laughing on the side, oh, we can see it again. Like, yeah, oh, yeah. Because like, like, Prime, because Prime and Rino don't do that. Pep's not doing that. So nah. like, Ferguson's not doing that. Like, them are not laughing. Like, no way. And that, it, and you're right. It does come from the manager. And then you have leaders in the dressing room, captains and others who then give the manager's message in the locker room and on the pitch. You should not be getting nervous in that situation. The reason mm. why they got nervous in that situation is Arsenal know that they're not that good. They're not mm. of that level. That's why. Mm. And they didn't expect to be there. And all of a sudden, it's like, oh, shit. They was yeah, in a championship they didn't expect fight. to be there last year, Flores. Yeah, yeah, exactly. They, they got was in a championship. A nah, no, no, no. They was yeah. in a championship fight and rocked the champion. And then when they rocked the champion and he was stumbling, they didn't know what to do. It's yeah, like, oh, shit. Yeah, yeah. I just got to the championship round, and round they 10 and that, and they couldn't, They yeah. froze. That's mm. what it was, because they didn't expect. Why are you nervous? Mm. Mm. That's it, bro. And like my man said, Ten Hag don't have emotions. He just always, oh yeah, he's straight face, which yeah, is yeah. what's great. You know what I'm saying? I love bro, that. I love that though. I love that. Whether bro, we win five nil or lose two one, man, you don't, you bro, would know. This bear always looks pissed off, and this is why it's great, isn't it? Because as a player, it's like you just know you just got to focus on what you have to yeah. do, bro. Do you know what I mean? Like he come out and said, "Oh, we don't play friendlies after you mash up Arsenal, bro." As a player, yeah. you want to hear that, yeah. and that's the mentality that he's instilling into the team. It's not our. Making excuses like Arteta oh, sat down and said, Oh, look at Rice, look at Havertz. This is the first time they played together, and all these things. I started talking shit. Like mm. someone said something about physicality, and he was like, Oh, Shaka's not more physical than Havertz. Havertz is 191 centimeters. But what, well, since when is height physicality, bro? Like Peter Crouch ain't <laughs> weren't physical, <laughs> blood. And he was a fuck. You know, he said he's 191 and that. Arteta chatting shit, bro. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, mm. this is what man does, bro. Chat's rubbish, bro. Do you know what I'm saying? He's a mm. hippie, bro. Like, he's a great coach. Do you know what I'm saying? But the, the thing is, like, the psychological thing, yeah, is what wins you championships. The reason why Jose, yeah, is in the running for one of being one of the greatest managers ever is not because his football is the most attractive. It's not because of possession. It's not because of goals scored. It's because of his mentality and how yeah, he sets up teams it's, for it's war. Being able, it's being able, just like I said to you, win at all costs in all different ways. It's simple as that. If your main objective is to win, then sometimes what the greatest managers, and this is actually Ferguson, like we said, we, he didn't play the greatest football when we were kids, but he won a lot. When the greatest managers are able to sacrifice part of what they want to do for the better of the team getting the result. It's like sure. Arteta, right? I don't feel like Arteta is the manager that wants to kind of sacrifice. He will say, right, whoever we're playing, Arsenal, we are playing our way. And sometimes playing their way can get them hurt. Like we saw at the Emirates when they tried popping City off the park and City said, you know what? You lot do your thing, but we will have the killer moments. They done that. If Man United can go into next season doing that, if Man City can go into the next season doing that, and Liverpool can find some compromise, I don't think Klopp's been able to do that, them teams will get some big results along the way. But it's finding the way the managers... You're right. Do you know what? if that was the Man United yeah. of old, 
Under Salah Ferguson. You would have gone to Emirates and chilled, bro. And bro, we would have gone there with a five-man midfield, Darren Fisher. Yeah. Bro, part G song, part G song there doing man of the it. match. That's it. And we would have looked to hit them on the break yep. and just secure the draw or the bro, win. That's it. However Sometimes it came, but don't sacrifice lose. Sacrifice something just to say, right, we're going to get the win. And I don't feel like some managers like Arteta can do that because they just yep. want to win playing their way only. Can't. And that's not the way it is. And also, there's a way to lose. The manner in which Arsenal capitulated is where the bottle attack came mm. from. The whole Zinchenko crying. What happened at um, Anfield? Saka missing the penalty. Did anyone Western, tell us why he cried? Did, 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 why didn't someone ask him, bro? Because Manny, yeah, because we all seen it in 4K, fam. Because he got cooked by was it Trent on the right wing? Yeah, that's I know, but bro, man need to explain to us why, <laughs> as a grown evil, man bro. with children, yeah, and <laughs> a wife, why you cried on television? Yo, because no, nah, man needs to know these things. He was it's like strange. Jesus said, maybe Jesus was talking about Zinchenko. Well, you can't be saying that, man. Even if that is the case and what Jesus is saying is correct, you don't say that publicly. There's no benefit. Nah, you don't. That's why I said he should have said you that. Keep, you keep everything and you keep all problems in-house. But also Any that shows a house. lack of respect here yeah, for what's going on there because, bro, he's been at Man City already. So it shows that yeah, I'm yeah. not rating this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not he's raging. Been at, he's been at the, the best where it's elite to win. Like, you don't go out that way. You lose football matches, you can lose title races from positions of power, 100%, but it's the manner in which they did. There's so many moments. Like, you're at home to Southampton and you draw 3-3. Three, three. 